And we begin by noting today's sad milestone. It's been exactly one year since the tragic death of Kobe and Gigi Bryant and seven others in that horrific helicopter crash. We all mourned their tragic passing that was followed by the world's collective loss of life from COVID. Needless to say, we've all been in a state of constant mourning. Evans? Mario, sadly, that's been the case. But to ease the burden, psychologist Dr. Zilana Momini offers these tips to help us through these pretty stressful times. How difficult can the milestones like this be when uh, someone is grieving? Milestones are tough because they bring up past memories. It reinforces the fact that this person is gone. Vanessa has posted that uh, she's feeling like kind of a cluster of emotion from feeling great, maybe laughing, to then crying and figuring out what, what are you, what's left for you on this planet. Is that normal? Very normal. Um, and I'm actually so happy that she spoke about that because grief looks very different for everyone. Walk us through kind of the, the steps, right? The process of grief that a person can, can be going through. Generally, people start out with this like shock, right? They go through these stages. So there's like, there's shock, there's disbelief, there's denial. There's sometimes even guilt and shame that can come with it. Um, then kind of go, comes the anger and then possibly the depression. And then hopefully over time on some level, people will sort of phase into a, a process of acceptance and hopefulness. Vanessa talked about finding the reason to live. What might be some outlets for a person who is going through uh, grief in this way? Finding purpose and something else to propel us forward is critical. So, you know, in this case, especially Vanessa has spoken about, you know, her other children and moving forward for her children who are here. It's so important to find that catalyst for, you know, I'm gonna get up today and, you know, one foot in front of the other and this is why. Um, I think it's also really, really critical to get support. I thought it was really interesting that Vanessa posted asking news outlets not to replay the images from the crash site. It's incredibly triggering um, for people who are grieving. And I think it's totally amazing that she actually knows what she needs and she's asking us not to do certain things that will trigger her. The question everyone wonders when they're in the middle of the grieving process is will they ever be made whole again? The puzzle will come together again, but the picture is gonna look different. The grief will eventually dissipate in some way, but the loss is gonna be there forever. Over time, it's about, you know, finding other ways to, to move through it and to function and to find hopefulness and joy and awe in little things. And over time, those will sort of build back up your reserves for hope and happiness. It's a beautiful way to look at it. And the Good Doctor's book, 21 Days to Resilience, is one that I swear by. All right, Zuri, what do you say we change things up, huh? 